So I'm down at the tricky little 16th hole on North Inch Golf Course. At 79 yards, you would think it's a really straightforward hole. But as you can see, there's a really tricky deep bunker just in front of the green. Today I'm going to show you how to get out of that bunker and save yourself a shot. So in the bunker, the bunker's the one shot in golf where we don't actually want to make any contact with the golf ball. So that can seem tricky to lots of players because they're so used to trying to strike the golf ball. But actually, it gives us a, a greater margin for error than we would have on our normal shots. Now, sand wedges are designed in a slightly different way and they have what we call a degree of bounce. Now, what bounce relates to is the angle between the back edge of the club and the leading edge of the club. And with a sand wedge, the, the back edge sits slightly lower to the ground than the leading edge. This means when we enter into the sand, that's going to allow your club head to work through the sand without digging too deep. The difficulty when you're in the bunker is to have the confidence to make enough of a swing to get your ball propelling out of the bunker. So the length of swing that's required in a bunker is much greater than you would need where you're playing from the sand. Uh, from the grass, sorry. So, when I'm playing you, what I'm going to do first of all is I need this club to go underneath the ball. So I'm going to first of all work my feet a little deeper into the sand. This is going to help to, to lower the bottom of my swing and help the club to, to get underneath the golf ball. Secondly, I'm going to very slightly open my club face. Now this has two objectives. By opening the face, we slightly increase the loft on the club, which is going to help the sand and therefore the ball fly a little higher. But the main reason is that as we open the club face, we also increase the degree of bounce on the bottom of the club. So for every one degree we open the, the, the loft of the club face, we add one degree of bounce to the club. So my alignment and my body aim is slightly to the left and that compensates for the slightly open club face. My target when I'm in the bunker is I'm going to aim to hit the sand about two inches, so four or five centimetres before the golf ball. And the secret in the key is really to make a fairly full and complete follow through. This will mean that the sand has the explosion and the momentum to both get the sand out of the bunker, but also your golf ball. So here goes. As we set up, aiming just before the golf ball, reasonably full backswing, nice long follow through. You see the explosion of the sand carries the ball out of the bunker. If I do that once again, so I set up, open the blade slightly, work my feet into the sand, got the club face laying very slightly on its back. From here, a nice full swing, aiming a couple of inches before the ball. Ball then flies out. Oh, nearly in the hole. So we've got to make that fuller momentum and longer swing to get the, the, the ball out of the bunker. Two most common faults we'll see in the bunker is a player who either tries to help the ball out. So as soon as somebody tries to scoop at the ball, what will happen is the club enters the sand too early, and by the time the club actually gets to the ball, it's traveling back upwards again, and the ball then either shoots into the face, or the club decelerates so much in the sand that the ball doesn't get out. And, and that's a really common issue. We see a player sitting back on his, uh, on his trail leg, trying to scoop the ball, thins into the back of the ball, and it doesn't exit from the bunker. The second fault we'll tend to see is a player who just wants to hack and dig this ball out. They'll tend to close the face down, which gives a really sharp leading edge, makes it very difficult for the club to exit the sand again. From there, this player hacks down without a real follow through, and then there's not enough forwards momentum to get the golf ball to get out of the bunker. So, 16th hole at North Inch, if you get in here, club face open, nice confident full follow through, get the sand and the golf ball out of the bunker and hopefully save your par.